Okay, on the count of three, name your favorite song from folklore. One, two, three, The Last Great American Dynasty. No, no one else? No. Oh. What's going on you guys, James here with another real review and today we're diving into Taylor Swift's concert film exclusively on Disney Plus, Folklore The Long Pond Studio Sessions, where she records all of her songs including the bonus track off of her album, Folklore, with two of the songwriters that are featured on the album. It is a very intimate experience, it's personal, and we'll get into what makes it actually really enjoyable. But before we do that guys, if it's your first time here at the channel, welcome to Real James, where we talk about movies and TV just like this. So if you love that just like like me go ahead and hit the big red button below subscribe to the channel and help us get to 3,000 subscribers and if you haven't already guys go ahead and smash that like button it does a lot to help the channel and get loud in the comments below and let me know which song from the album was your favorite that she performed in this special so guys let's get into it first of all let's give credit to taylor swift she directed this thing that is really cool this was recorded on may 21st 2020 after the pandemic forced taylor swift aaron desner and jack antonoff to record this concert essentially in Long Pond Studios and the reason they did that is because well they couldn't do it anywhere else and all of her shows got canceled but I actually prefer this this was really the perfect setting for folklore this is an album that has that folk vibe with some pop lyrics every now and then a country vibe as well so you're getting a ton of different elements at play but again this was exactly where it needed to be performed. Now let's get into what I actually liked about this album, which I love, by the way, and it hit me when I was on a nighttime drive, and I'm like, man, this is it. Taylor is in her bag with this one. It was really amazing to hear what went into writing each song for this album, and while I loved the performances here, I actually really liked the conversations that she had with Jack Antonoff and Aaron Desner. There's beauty to me in hearing an artist talk about their work, and when it comes to music, I really appreciate the lyrics. I love the production of everything, don't get me wrong, but the lyrics make the song. And hearing Taylor just dive into what each line meant to her was really interesting. It was unique because I hadn't really seen a concert film quite like this. And like I mentioned earlier, this Disney Plus special knows how to set a tone, and we get that right from the beginning. It opens with a very long shot, a bird's eye view, of a force and we see folklore come over the screen and immediately I was in the mood to hear this album. I love that we get the wide shots of the studio in between songs as well which helps keep a very consistent vibe. Really it's laid back, intimate, and like I said earlier, personal. Now when it comes to Taylor Swift herself, I really think she's one of the most talented artists of my generation and this just proves that she is someone who can blend previous work together into one album. See, Lover was very much upbeat, and I really love that album, no pun intended. And here with Folklore, it's a little bit more laid back, and, and that's okay. Now, I've always appreciated Folklore from the moment I played it for the first time, but this concert film really helped me grow a deeper appreciation for her work. Lots of love and meaning went into each song, and I even learned a lot about my personal favorites, yes, including The Last Great American Dynasty. There's a lot of storytelling here, and I think that was the joy for me as a viewer, someone who of course reviews movies and TV shows. I was able to go into this, jamming out to the songs, but I was able to also appreciate the stories. Everything was coming to life before my eyes. Now when it comes to the actual setup of this in-home concert, man the production was incredibly cool. I loved that they were able to bring people in virtually, like Bon Iver. I mean he is, first of all, a talented artist, but he was able to record his vocals in Wisconsin and the way they kind of split-screened both Taylor and him performing on their song Exile was incredible. I can honestly say I've never seen a duet performed virtually like that before, so man, it was just really neat to see all the behind the scenes action on screen. Now when it comes to what I didn't like about this Disney Plus concert film, there's only one thing, and that's the track listing and credits. I almost wish they would have kept them on screen a little bit longer. I'm a sucker for knowing who made the beat, who did this, who wrote this lyric, and I kind of wish we would have gotten a longer duration of time to see who wrote what. Sometimes it's easy because you get to learn the names, but then there are moments in the beginning where I thought, mm, can we just hold on to that a little bit longer so I can just engrave it into my memory? 
But overall, you guys, Folklore The Long Pond Studio Sessions was a nice reprieve from the midweek stresses of work, and honestly, of life in general. I actually would love to see more albums performed like this with stripped back sessions to really understand and feel each song. Folklore is a wonderful album, and if you're already a fan of Taylor Swift, this is a must watch and honestly this is going to hopefully make up a little bit for the shows that were cancelled this year due to the pandemic because I honestly would have loved to have seen this performed live. But this special does a good job of filling the void. And if you're not a fan of Taylor Swift, I really feel like if you catch even one song performed in this special, you'll really appreciate everything that's gone into it and it might even hook you. So honestly, this is one of those specials that's just a treat, especially around the holidays, we'll have time at home, and man, it just reaffirms in my mind that Taylor Swift is a generational talent that is not to be missed anytime she drops new work. Alrighty, you guys, well, there you have it. That's my real review of the Long Pond Studio Sessions, something that I think you shouldn't miss if you're a fan, and again, if you're not, just hop into it. It's a joy. Now, I want to know what you guys have to say about this one, so get loud in the comments below and let me know what you thought of it. Did you enjoy it as much as me, or did you not vibe with it as much as I did? And if you haven't already, hit the big red button below and subscribe to the channel. Tap on the bell so you don't miss out on anything new. Guys, we got a really busy rest of the year, and we're so close to our end of the year goal, and it's all because of you. Alrighty, guys, well, let me go get to work, because if I listen to this album, I'm not going to stop. I'm going to have to go front to back. Again, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll catch you at the next screening.